I'm restraining myself from screaming right now. <laughs> okay guys, so welcome to my channel. I am so excited. Yes, you're seeing this right. I purchased from Hobonichi for the first time ever. And I purchased directly from this site. I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I just had this itch. Um, I am a very big supporter of Helen over at Coffee Monsters Co. And she really, like, had me influenced on the Hobonichi cousin. Um, that's, yeah, I, do, I don't know. So I started, like, looking at Hobonichi more. And I ultimately decided to place an order on launch day. So I'm so excited. It is Monday. The order just arrived at... I don't even know what time, but I was out at Sam's Club. I rushed home. My office was closed until 2, so I walked up there with my kids, and here we are. Let's stop talking and get into this goodness. <laughs> So I did not think I ordered enough to or to need two boxes, but I do, and I'm very thankful of that because now I have, I mean there's a little gash here, but now I have for the most part two pristine boxes and I love this like, it's like, I don't know if it's coming up correct on camera, but it's like a really pretty, this is a little bit bent. Um, but it's a really pretty, like, burnt orange, like, red color. Like, brick red, burnt orange, almost. So, I've watched too many of this, these videos. <laughs> um, I've just been binging all of, like, other years' haul videos. I've just been watching a ton of hauls. And that ultimately affected what I ended up ordering. So much so that... <clears throat> My order was already preparing for shipping, so I couldn't add anything onto here. So I had to place a second order from somewhere else. Um, but we'll start with the things I purchased directly from Hobonichi, and then we will go into um, my order and why I didn't purchase directly from the site. Also, disclaimer, I already have a whole other cart full of goodies that I think I'm going to order for my Christmas present. So I think I'm going to order it. Um, and then once the order comes in, I'm not going to touch it and I'm going to wrap it for Christmas. So I think that'll be kind of fun. But yeah, that's probably not why you're here. <laughs> Let's get into the goodies. So I'm not going to read the quotes. I know a lot of people do. So um, I will pause here. So you can pause it if you'd like to read it. Um, I think it's a nice quote. But yeah, I'm so excited, guys. Like, literally... Oh, and there we are. Look, you already get... You already get... Um, what is it? Spoilers on what I ordered. Okay, I'm gonna move this off. And you guys are getting, like, live, like, reactions. Because this is my first time opening these things. And I'm so pumped, guys. Okay, let's start it with these. I don't know if there's any more in the other box, but for right now I have these two, which these are the freebie pens, and they are the Uniball Jetstream, I believe. So these are really nice. I don't love the brown and blue. I'm really jealous of last year's pen, the teal, but honestly, Hobonichi wasn't even on my radar. I'm super new to bookbound planners. Um but I'm so, like, I'm so ready for this, guys. Like, um, I know I've been kind of hinting at it. If you are a subscriber to my channel, I know I might get a lot of new people. Um, so, hi. <laughs> I didn't even do my introduction. My name is Mariah Monet. Um, that's the title of my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And I really hope that you subscribe and choose to stick around to see how I use all of the goodness that I'm hauling today. But, yeah, so... <laughs> Um, I don't know. We'll test these out, but they're free pens. <laughs> Let's see. We'll open this. So, yeah, I purchased a five-year, and we'll start there. 
which I'm so pumped for. I purchased the A6. Um, kind of looking back, also if you hear big trucks, there's construction going on at my apartment club complex, so I, I apologize ahead of time. Um, but looking back, I'm kind of worried that it might be a little too small, but I have an idea on how I'm going to correct that. So, never fret. I love that this is in perfect condition, and I love this color. So pretty. We'll go through all the things. So, uh, here's the pamphlet. I know I kind of sometimes skip through these after a while, so I won't be sad if you do. Um, but this is really cool. I'm excited to, like, look into this. I know it's all in Japanese, but just to, like, kind of get the idea, you know? I don't know. This is really cool. My, so this is, I, I don't know. I think this is actually in this year's paper. I don't think this is in next year's, 2024. I think this is just, like, a sample layout of um, the five-year layout. Like, it's just a sample of that. So you can, like, test out the paper. Oh, but here she is. This little gorgeous book. I love that it looks like a Bible. I love that it has the years on the spine. So mine will be going from 2023 to 2027. Oh, look at her. Oh my gosh. So my idea for this book... I'm still kind of undecided, so it's going through all the years, the yearly overviews in the front. I'm hoping you can see this, and then it goes right in. So you have a spot to write um, every day of the year for five years in a row. My idea to kind of expand the writing space, because now that I'm looking at this, like, yeah, that's not a lot of space. I think I'm going to just continue the lines over here. And then have that extra writing space. That way, because I I would kind of go crazy not knowing what to put over here. So I think that's a good, like, um, it's a good compromise. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it just goes through all the years. I'm so excited. So my reason for wanting to do this was from watching some hauls before I even purchased. I can't remember his name. Um, I will try and link him down below if I can find him. But he said that someone told him, think about all the things that happen in your life in five years. And guys, five years ago, I didn't have any children. I was pregnant with my first. So many like trials and tribulations have happened throughout that time. I'm a young mother. And I can't imagine, like like he said, I cannot imagine not documenting what happens over the next five years. Like, so many things can happen. I'm planning on transitioning into opening my own business soon and going back to school potentially. Like, there's so many things that I want to document. And I don't know, this is just such an amazing idea to do that. So, yeah, really looking forward to dive into that. And the cover that I chose, guys, okay, this is my favorite part. Like, okay, you ready? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I know. I need to, like, calm down. But, like, I'm so ready and pumped for this. This is the Mina Perhonen. And I may be, like, pronouncing her name wrong, but I think I'm not. <laughs> Oh, and it feels so much better than I thought it would. So this is, oh, I probably should have looked it up, uh, the Path print. And I love that this is texturized. Like, yes, please. I love feeling this, and I just think it's so gorgeous. I was a little worried. Um, I was watching some of the videos, and it wasn't about this cover in particular, but they said that the Mina Perhonen covers come with um what is it fox leather but they said that the five-year journals come with real leather so I think this is real leather I honestly might not know the difference <laughs> uh, but yeah so this is my cover they say not to um 
put a cover on cover on this, but I think I may. So let's put her on. I know I always kind of like get a little antsy when they don't put the covers on and I'm, I don't want to do that to you guys. So let's put her on. Let's see how she is, how she fits. And I've been seeing that you kind of need to like do something like this, which hurts my soul, but that is how Hobonichi recommends you do it. So kind of makes sense, you know, it's, looks like the easiest way to do it. And there we are. Oh, yes. Okay. So there is our five year. I'm going to have her for five years. I'm a little worried about how she's going to hold up with being this um, fabric. So that's why I really want to use a cover on cover. They say that it can sweat, but I don't foresee that happening. So I don't know. Yes, I just, I seen it and I, I fell in love with all of Mina Perhonen's covers and I really wanted the piece cover, but they're pretty pricey. So I don't know. Okay, let's, enough about this. Let's put her away. We're going, I'm definitely keeping this little blue box. I'm going to keep them both. Let's put this one in here. There's definitely going to be more videos coming up on my products. So like I said, subscribe if you aren't already and you're interested in seeing more. Okay, so first planner out of the way. Next, we have an A5 cover on cover. Um, and we will just take this out because we're going to put it on our cover that we have that... I'm sure you already seen. Also, I like the sound of crinkling plastic. You will learn that quick on my channel. So if you don't, I apologize. But this is the cover I chose. Okay, let's get her out and then we'll talk about her. This is new. I thought, well, okay. I, I think I know why they did this because these have these little beads on them. I don't think they would fit inside the cover. I know I watched a lot of people pull them out of this flap, but that is okay. I understand why they did that. Okay, let's put the cover on. Well, okay, let's look at her first. So this, like from the moment I looked at it, I fell in love. So I just, I don't know what it is. It's like so simple, but like with flair. So there's a little bit of mint in there. I love this mint color. I love that there's beads and I really love um, this fabric. It's like suede almost. Oh, so pretty. Here's a little card about the artist. It's eerie or airy. I'm sorry, I'm totally gonna butcher the name. I'm not gonna try and say it, but you can see it there. Um, and it just talks about the designer. And it's a mother of one, ch she's a mother of one child. She moved to Finland in 2007 and studied textile design. So that's super exciting. I love like the idea of being a designer. So props to her. And then I heard this is how, yeah, it is about extending and prolonging the life of your product. So um, just a few tips there. And then this must, I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay let's put her in the cover on cover I'm so excited I've been guys I've been like dying to get these products in my hands so I ordered I don't know I know when I went to order right at launch like the site was crashing and I was in the middle of cooking dinner so I was like you know I'm not even gonna worry about this I'll just go in and order after I'll order whatever I can get that I wanted and I was Fortunate enough that everything I wanted was still available um, a little bit later after um, I was ready to order. So, yeah, here she is in the cover on cover. I'm hoping she kind of flattens out after I put the cousin in here. So, yeah, this is my cover. I'm hoping she fills up there. Oh, so beautiful. Let's move her off to the side. That was everything out of box one. So now we're going to go into box two. Oh, 
There's that quote again. I'm actually going to move this off of camera and then I'll go through things. Okay, we'll move this over here. Oh, okay. So I actually got two of the bags. So these are another freebie. So I don't think I see any more pens. So I think I got two pens and two bags, which is plenty. <laughs> Let's open this up. So this is kind this is kind of like a softer canvas. Kind of like a dress up shirt fabric. And it just says 2023. And then I need to read you guys the quote in here because I've watched a few 2023 unboxings. And this quote is so amazing. I'm definitely journaling about it. So it says, today is the only day the me I am right now will ever exist. I want to keep a record of that so the me in the future won't forget them. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that quote. Never heard it before besides, you know, the unboxings. This is like a really nice rope material. So these bags are really nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but... I'm a sucker for a good draw steering pouch or bag. <laughs> so yeah, that quote is definitely something that resonates with me and kind of touching back on why I want to do that five year journal. Um, that quote's even more beautiful. So yeah, those were the freebies I got. Um, a very nice surprise to ordering directly from the site. So another, we'll, you know, we'll hit on that at the end. <laughs> okay, so... Let's go into some, ex you know, we'll just go through all the planners and then accessories. So, I did get a Hobonichi Weeks, and I actually got the Smooth Ramyun. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, but from my understanding, it's kind of like a leather. Um, and yeah, let's open her. This is my favorite color blue. Like, I'm a sucker for a good sky blue. So, yeah, right now I'm currently using the Print Pression Weeks, and I was just kind of curious about the Hobonichi Weeks. So, this is a little pamphlet. I also, I also got the English, so whenever I could, I got the English version. This is the little life book, Hobonichi Techo 2023. And I watched a video, and I guess there was a cookie design at the store. It's kind of like, what is it? It was like limited edition if you shop in store, which I would love to go to their store in person. Um, but it's just a little bit about the Hobonichi Techo and how to use, like how other people use their products. And I really want to read this because someone read it and I really loved that as well. So it says, something born. Thanks to my starting this, something was born. As I kept up with this, something was born. Because I met other people, something was born. I reflected on myself and something was born. There is a whole life contained within a Hobonichi Techo. Go ahead and write whatever you wanted it. And at the end of the year, your own unique life book will be born, which I love that. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So back to the planners. So there were two little protective films on the front and back. And this, you guys, is so smooth. So I was talking with Yvette. She purchased the same Hobonichi Weeks. And she said it felt foamy, and I would totally agree with that. Like, it's super foamy. Um, I actually really like it, though. Like, yeah, it just feels like it's made out of foam, but really, really nice. I actually was originally going to go with the calendar weeks, but at the last minute, I seen this. And I think it would just look so cute with some um emoji stickers on here and just look different like vinyls that I purchased throughout the year so that is why I ended up going with this one 
Okay, so let's do a little flip. I love this print in, um, on the inside of the planners. Back here, you always get this little pocket. And from another um, haul I watched, someone said they put it here. That way, when you put it in the cover, um, you can still access this pocket, which I think that's what I'm, what I'm going to do. This is like a super nice thick cardstock. And then the paper feels so smooth. This is the last year that you will get the Tom Tomo River paper, the original one that they started with. So I that's another reason. Like I really wanted to try out the paper. So there may or may not be some fountain pen hauls coming up because <laughs> I know they work really good on this paper. Um, but yeah, so here is the current year, so 2023. They also have 2022 and then 2024, which I really like. And then they also give you this nice like important dates section down there. And then turning the page, you get this really nice like um, habit tracker type spread, which I think that might be what I'm going to use it for. We will see, but I really like this. I'll, I'm excited to kind of play around with it and see what I'm going to do with it. And then you, the book starts in December of 2022 and it goes until I think, yeah, March, March of 2024 in the monthly section and then it goes directly into the weeks which I'm a, I was a little hesitant with this planner because of the horizontal um I've seen a few people kind of turn it this way I'm still unsure about this planner and how I'm going to use it but we shall see I'm excited to play around with all of these planners my idea for this was to be my on the go planner so yeah so after the weeks you get this little useful abbreviations and then a notes. So you get a little index page for your notes, which is really nice. And then I did get the standard, which comes with 74, 75 notes pages. And I just, I think that's enough for me. Like I'm actually a little like nervous about having 75. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. So I definitely didn't want, like, I think there's like 115, 215 in the mega. Um, so yeah, definitely enough for me. And then in the back, you have some handy little resource pages. So here's a little favorites, which is really nice. So this, it says this is a great place to list rankings for movies, books, music, restaurants, events, games, and much more on a sliding scale of five stars. And then we have this nice My 100 list. Don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I really like this. So definitely going to play around with some ideas. Again, be on the lookout for more videos. I, at the end of every year, like to take that last week of the year and I call it my planner move in week and I upload a video every day of the week. So seven videos in a whole week and I just set up all of my planners. So definitely exciting this year with going to a whole new company. And then we have a my favorite things, which is really nice. I like this. And I'm glad that they offered English planners this year. Um, so this is a how to better enjoy conversation, which I really like because I'm very <laughs> like awkward and it gives you things to practice. So that's nice. And then this I really like. So this is a 365 days checkoff sheet. So I really want to try and track something like maybe a habit I'm trying to break um or something like that so I really like that and then there's some room for addresses and then your personal information another thing I really like about Hobonichi's is that they give you um a unique identification code for each planner so really nice and just gives you that personal touch so there is that um and going along with that I did purchase one of the weeks covers I purchased one for my 
uh, print pression weeks. And I think I paid like $10 on Amazon. This was like $2 on um, the Hobonichi site. So definitely worth it. I'm going to slide her in the cover. And with it being foam, I feel like it might not be much of an issue with like bending that back cover in there. We'll see. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm so nervous to break this. Oh, it gives you that like crease. I guess we're just not going to have to worry about it. We're just going to have to go. I do not suggest doing that. <laughs> But we, we made it. She's in there. Um, these come with a nice little pen loop. I don't use them. Especially because I do have my... Um, where is it? I have my Moterm cover. So, yeah. I'm probably going to have to order a new color to go along with this. But I love this. This feels so nice. This fits on there real nice. There's a little space at the top and bottom but nothing like drastic like I've seen somebody put the sneaker weeks in there and there was like definitely more room so yeah there is my on the go for 2023 potentially so yeah planner two out of the way and here is that a6 um cover on cover that I purchased for my five year let's try and put that on there I'm actually kind of curious to see how that fits on there and if it like works so yeah here's the hoping right I guess we should try and like I know the five years yeah they're a bit bigger I don't think this is gonna fit because they need to be bigger. So actually this is kind of a fail. This isn't going to fit in there. So there you go guys. Now you know if you are interested. That this this won't work. I swear I seen someone do it though. Yeah that's just that's definitely not going to work. So okay. Never mind. I guess she won't be in a cover, but that's okay because I don't really, I mean, I'm going to travel with it, like if I go anywhere, just to keep up with it. But if I do, it won't be out of this box. So I guess that's okay. And I've seen someone like a lot of people decorate this box. Definitely going to do that because that would be cute. Like they just put a whole bunch of stickers. So this will not be wasted and you'll see why after. Um, but let's move into our last planner from the Hobonichi site. So I did pick up the English Hobonichi Techo Cousin. And I'm so excited for this planner. So let's just open her up. They wrapped all of their planners this year in paper instead of plastic. Which I definitely can respect. You know, saving the environment. <laughs> And I did get the full year. I know that they offer the Avec, not in English, but in... The Avec only comes in Japanese, but that wasn't the, like, deciding factor for me at all. The deciding factor was, um, I wanted the whole year in one book. Like, I, I know they get super big, but I love that. I love a chunky planner. And maybe next year I won't and I will go with the Avec. But this is so beautiful. I, I couldn't wait to get it in my hands. Like I just love this feeling. Oh, so pretty. Okay. So I, I'm already planning on putting stickers all on the cover. We open it up and here's the inside. It's kind of like a manila color. And then you have your introduction page. You're just like the weeks. You have this year, last year, and next year. Then you have this super nice um, yearly overview. So this goes from January to June. 
and July to December. I don't know what I'm going to use these for yet, but again, I'm just so excited to keep watching more videos. I really like to watch and see how other people use theirs, and then I like to adapt the pieces that I want to use. Um, so yeah. So this for 2023, I'm thinking is going to replace my Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner. Now I already purchased that for next year and I'm either going to sell that planner and use this or sell this planner and use that. So I'm definitely not planning to sell this planner. I, I really want to give this a go for 2023. And what this will do is this is going to combine my Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner and my B6 Stology for memory keeping into one. So how I'm going to do that is my monthly is going to be just like my Stology. It's going to be like one little thing with a little character sticker that happened throughout the month. I love that and I'm definitely not going to give that up. Um, so there's the monthlies and then the weeklies is I'm going to use a sticker kit and I think what I'm going to do because honestly my Erin Condren hourly like how I do the weeklies it's just not I do it for like planning but with a kit for those of you guys who are new here but I like how I do it in my Stology so I'll you know how I like mark out that little line in the side of the page and then I just write out kind of what happened throughout the day? That's what I'm going to use this for. And I think that's what I'm going to do moving forward. I'm definitely going to buy more sticker kits. They're just going to be for the cousin and I'm probably going to like try my hand at making my own, which will be super exciting. And yeah, so that's how I plan on using that. So after the weeklies, you come, you come to this like turning the page to a new year. Don't know what, what I'm going to do with that. And then we jump right into the dailies. And the dailies are going to be used for my journaling. So super exciting. And then I know I've heard a lot of people talking about how the grid color and just all the color on the pages changes every month. That's definitely not going to bother me. Especially because I use washi tape um I could always just cover it up I love that you can read the quotes I've never had a Japanese version of this um but I definitely like that um I can read the quotes it's definitely nice I mean I might cover it up with washi most of the time but it's there maybe I won't but yeah so that is how I plan on using this let's go all the way to the back so after December 31st, you have a few notes pages. So we have one, two, three, and four front and back pages. We have a timetable. So this is says write a recurring hourly schedule for each day of the week. This is a useful or this is useful for a variety of things, such as filling in the broadcast times of favorite television shows. Or splitting up house chores. Then we have a graph paper. This page is convenient for recording your daily weight or other ongoing changes when you have a certain target in mind. The extra space at the bo bottom is for additional notes. Okay, so you could like track something over time. And then you have another favorites, another my 100. So I like that I have two of these. Another my favorite things, another thing about the conversation. I love this one. So it's words to remember. Write down memorable phrases you encounter throughout the year that you don't want to forget. I already know number one is going to be that little phrase from the bag because I love that. Another 365 day check off. Um, this is a nice gift tracker. I will definitely use that. I don't think I'll use addresses and then personal notes. Here is my unique identification number. And yeah, so I'm super excited. Um, one thing I don't have yet that I plan on getting, um, I already ordered them from Amazon. They should be here on Wednesday, I think. 
Um, I'm going to get the Midori clear covers to go over each book because I just, I want extra prote protection always. So that's just who I am. But for now, let's put her in the cover. And just like the other ones, I'm scared that I'm going to, I really don't want to break this, guys. And once I get that cover, I'm not going to put both sides in here. I'm going to like leave it like this. But for now, I think I'm going to put it in like this. This is so nerve-wracking. Oh my gosh, how do you guys do this? Ugh. I also am like that crazy person who doesn't like my page is bent so I'm trying my best here I know with how like thin this paper is that that's kind of inevitable but if I can prevent it I'm gonna try okay perfect there we go I'm just gonna put these I might put one at the front and one at the back Yeah, I, do, I definitely don't like how this feels with both covers in there. I know some people do, but I'm definitely going to buy that clear cover and then leave the front out. But yeah, so here she is. Let's take one of those pens. And we're just going to... I love this, like... I love that that acts as a closure for this book too so super nice I love the feeling it definitely ended up filling out that cover better and yeah so here is going to be my main planner for 2023 I'm almost certain that I'm not going to sell this I'm gonna sell the life planner I think so yeah, I love this. I love, I like I said, I fell in love with the co cover. Like, it just reminds me of Earth and life. So, yeah, I love this so much. I do have my eye on some more covers. So, that is what's going to come in my second order. Okay, so let's go into the accessories that I purchased from Hobonichi. First up, I only purchased a few. But first up, I purchased these stamps. And they're both like the planner stamps. So they look like the planner open and closed. Oh, I don't want to like rip this. Um, if you don't know, I'm really getting into stamping. And I thought these were just perfect to add to my collection. That way I could like use it for marking down plan with me's and things. So yeah, they're just your basic wood stamps, they're just super like tall, which I really like. That's more ergonomically nice, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so super excited to test these out. Be on the lookout because I do have a stamp with me video coming up that I think I will test those out in. And then the last and remaining little accessory that I purchased was just this little stencil. So... Um, I do have plans on purchasing the rest of them. I don't know why I didn't pick them up. Um, but just looking at it, I thought that this one was going to be the best one. So I really like that you can do the weather. Um, I really like this little movie icon for filming. You got a little fork and knife for like meals, a little phone. Um, yeah, I just felt like I could really use this one. And I think this one was called... Yeah, but it's the blue one, so it's super cheap. They're going for $10 on Amazon, so definitely if you're going to purchase from them, I would per pick those up. So, okay, so I had a few mishaps with the camera, but we're back. We're, we're still trucking along. I'm sorry, guys. This one is definitely a long one, but I did order quite a bit, and I really want to thoroughly go through everything with you. So, yeah, so those were the only accessories I picked up other than the covers definitely want to go back for more though so 
I'm definitely gonna have another haul. It might be one of the videos for the last and um that last week of the year. I'll do like an unboxing of what else I purchased, but okay, so that was everything from my order from Hobonichi. So I purchased all those things. I was like, okay, good. I got what I wanted. And then I started binging all the hauls. And someone said, <laughs> you should purchase one of every planner for your first time using Hobonichi so that you can see what you like. And instantly I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to hold off because here comes another truck. <laughs> But instantly, I was like, that totally makes sense. And I actually, like, really wanted to try out an A6. So, I went on Hobonichi to see how, like, the holding and adding to your cart worked. And they said, as long as your order wasn't in the shipping soon category, you could pause it and add to it. So, went on there, checked, and this was, like, a day or two after I had already placed the order and it already said shipping soon. And I was like, darn. So I added an A6 to my cart to see how much shipping would be, and it was another $50. And that's another thing. Let's talk about my order. So let me get everything. So these three planners and my accessories, I think came to like, with shipping, $225, which isn't bad, okay? Um, I totally like... The price did not seem bad at all. That was with, I mean, what really got me was the $50 shipping. I was like, oof, that's a lot. But then, after I had already purchased, because I'm like, it'll, I don't know, I think it'll make up for it. I went on Jet Pens to see, and even on Jet Pens, you can't get the cover I wanted, right? So I took another Mina Perhonen cover for the five year and just basically took that pricing if I were to have ordered these off of jet pens it would have been $366 and that's without my freebie gifts so right there should tell you and I heard a lot of people say it but they say that if you're ordering more you should definitely shop direct because that shipping cost isn't going to take you above what the stores, which I don't blame them, you know, they're marking up to make a profit and to include that shipping, but it's definitely better to shop direct if you're buying more because you're definitely saving. Like that was a lot of savings. I couldn't even believe it. That was like a 60% almost savings. So that was definitely crazy and an eye opener to me. Um, okay, so purchasing the A6 on Hobonichi would have been around the same price of me, like, with that extra $50 shipping as me ordering it from the shop I ordered it from. And I felt I wanted it sooner. And it did come a lot sooner. So I got this order before I even got my Hobonichi order in. But I did not open it, with, <laughs> like, without you guys. It's still in all of its packaging. I can just see it. So... I did end up picking up an A6 planner, so I actually picked up two A6 covers, so now I have three because the other one doesn't fit on that one, but yeah, so that's okay. <laughs> we live and we learn. Um, let's go through the planner. So I picked up the Tender Heart cover, and here is why. Uh, my boyfriend, so we have two children together. He calls me Mama Bear and my little cubs. So I have two daughters. And this, every time I look at this cover, it literally just reminds me of them. And I love that so much. So this is going to be my on-the-go, everyday carry. Along with my Hobonichi weeds. So let me take this out. <laughs> So along with my Hobonichi weeks, I will also be taking this. And this is their A6... Hobonichi planner um and this bundle I purchased from a New York company called Yoseka Stationery and I also picked up some really cute washi tapes that I'll be hauling in another video next week so be on the lookout for that um 
but I never knew New York had a little st stationary nook like that. So I cannot wait to go back. I think they're in Brooklyn, New York. And this um, duo cost me $84. So pretty steep. But like I said, I was okay with paying it to get it quicker. And I would have paid that anyways. Like with the shipping from Hobonichi. So yeah, if you're only purchasing one planner, I would definitely shop from somewhere local. But... If you're buying more than one, I would definitely go with the direct route. So here's the planner. Um, this is about your planner, which is really cute. I will definitely be reading this later. This is another, another one of the little pamphlets. And this is in English because um, the key difference, which... Oh, this is the little test paper for... 2024 which is exciting um okay so the key difference from what i understand is the hobonichi planner and this isn't new they had this last year the english version of this um the original so not this one the original is in japanese and the planner is in english and this one also doesn't change color the original changes color the only color changes is that sunday is still red so and then also the grid size in this one is like 0.3 bigger so you get less like grids because they're a little bit bigger and then also like the setup up here which i'm totally fine with so this will be this will take place of my dump notebook my idea for this is going to be I'm going to take it on the go. So here is 2023, 2024. And then, yeah, so we just get the current year and next. And then we get these nice little, like, monthly sections to do with what you please. And then you go straight into the monthlies. So again, starting in December, going until March 2024. And then you get the coming up. So I think this is for every month. Let me see. Yeah. So that's really nice. A nice little like monthly dumping page. And then you just get a page for every day. Which really like. And my idea is going to be the monthly either in here or in my weeks is going to be for budget. And then whatever one is not for budget will be for just whatever is going on during the day. And then my daily pages will just be a dumping ground. So I'll just be able to write whatever I want. And yeah, like literally that's just it. It's going to be kind of like a list planner, which I really like. And yeah, uh, it's, I don't know. I just want to try everything, guys. So the dot grid pages back here seem to be in red. And let's see how many there are. So there's eight pages, front and back. Um, well, like there's eight individual pages, 16 front and back. And then we have the important contacts, which I actually might use in this one, maybe for like doctors and stuff like that. International size charts. So it kind of shows you if you are an eight in women's in the US, that's an 11 in Japan. But I think that might be off. I think someone said that that was off. There's a conversion table, a ruler, which is really nice. You still get the My 100. Express yourself in, Jap in Japanese. <laughs> um, there's just a whole bunch of really good readings back here. And then you get the personal notes. And there is my unique Hobonichi Techo number. So yeah, that is what I'm going to use that for this year. I also am going to order an A6 clear cover from Midori on Amazon that will again be coming in on Thursday oh let's open her up okay this is so nice it's a canvas material uh someone said <laughs> that they well I think Hobonichi said that they don't recommend putting this in a clear cover on cover because this would come off 
but it's gonna stay in the cover on cover so if it comes off okay sorry I had to find my a6 cover on cover that I already opened um, but like I was saying, if it comes off and like sticks to this, like I guess that's okay with me because I do not trust myself with this canvas. Like I already know it would be ruined. Like I have two little kids. I'm going to be throwing it in my bag. I just, I don't trust myself. So I would definitely be hurt if it got ruined, but I think it would be ruined quicker if I don't put it in a cover on cover. So that's my reasoning if you feel differently um, don't put it in there but I definitely feel like I need it Ugh. okay there that is oh so beautiful it's definitely more sturdy than my other cover oh I just love this so much and it just has little cubs. Oh my gosh. Definitely makes me think of my children every time I look at it. So I knew I needed it. And I was going to get it. If they had it the exact same in the A5, I might have gotten that. Um, but I'm glad I got it in the A6. Because the A5, uh, I don't think I will be taking on the go with me. For the simple fact that, um, I don't know. I just feel like that'll be my stay-at-home planner. I know you're probably thinking, then why did you get a cover for it? But, I don't know. I just feel like the cover kind of makes it. I really like having the, the covers. Okay, there we are. Oh, this is so cute. I was so excited to set it up. Um, and since I'm not taking my cousin on the go with me, I also purchased the little weekly companion for the A6. So this guy is strictly, so you have the year at the front, but it's strictly a little weekly. And what I'm planning to use this for, it's going to stay with this planner, and as I'm on the go... If I think of anything I want to put in my weekly section on my cousin, I'm just going to jot it in there. So it's literally, I mean, I'm sure I'll probably like just throw it away at the end of the year. Maybe I'll just keep it with this, but it's nothing like super important. And I will open up this back pocket because that is how you access that. I don't know if you can like clip it closed though with this in there. We'll see. No, it's definitely just, it's just going to sit open like that, but I'm okay with that. So yeah, this is another like little on the go planner. And again, just like the other one, I actually, I don't know. I might keep this one in here like this. I think it might be more useful that way, especially since I'll be throwing it in my bags. So yeah, this one might stay like this, but oh, I just love this so much. Definitely makes me think of my little kids and... I'm glad I was able to pick it up and I'm glad I went and did purchase it. So let's do a little overview of everything I got. Okay, so here are my free gifts and I actually want to open this pen to put it in my little A6 guy here. They must have like really amazing sticky in Japan because that, like they're little sticky hearts are super sticky like super hard to get off okay so we're gonna slide this through here just like that perfect literally the perfect size and that will stop it from opening when it's in my bag which I really love so in review I literally purchased one of every planner I just didn't get the mega but again that's the same planner basically in my eyes I got these two stamps oh look at it. oh I love this guys okay I'm so happy um my next purchase that I'm already like plotting on I'm planning on buying another cover for this 
which I need to purchase that from Amazon. You'll see that soon. Well, at the end of the year, most likely. Um, and then I am plotting on another, another cover for this one. I kind of wanted to wait because I was seeing if I would really enjoy these planners and I wanted to see if I was still going to use both, but I think I'm just going to like bite the bullet and buy them because I am loving these planners and I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm loving these planners. I think I'm a Hobonichi gal now. I got my little stencil here, which let's open her up. This one actually might stay in my A6. Let's open this. I know, I'm probably just like <laughs> forcing it now, but oh yeah, that fits perfectly. I think that's where we'll keep that. But yeah, um, I am so sorry if this was like a super long video, but I know it's something that I really wanted to go through everything. Um, let's like take this out of the bag or the box. Get a good like thumbnail picture. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't even know how to do this correctly, but I got one of everything and I couldn't be more happy with what I chose. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week with more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.